How is everyone doing? I'm your Gibbs, and we're going to be starting a brand new game. And this is Call of Pripyat, stalker game. This is the third in the series, and I've actually recorded the previous two games, Shadow of Chernobyl and Clear Sky. So you'll find the links for those playlists in the description for this video. Love the stalker world, love the games. You guys are in for a treat, so let's not waste any more time. Let's get into this, and I'll explain as we go. So we're going to go ahead and play on Stalker D uh, difficulty. And as we load up here, one thing I will say is that I am using the complete mod. And we'll talk about that as we go through the game. This is a relatively long game. It's probably going to take, oh, I don't know, 10 or 20 hours or something like that. But uh, strap yourself in. Let's press a key to can enter the zone. At 0123, on April 26, 1986, the reactor of Power Block 4 of Chernobyl NPP is destroyed following a series of thermal explosions. The resulting radioactive cloud moves across the European part of the USSR, Eastern Europe, and Scandinavia, eventually reaching America. The consequences of the disaster are so serious that the government is forced to begin evacuating the residents of nearby towns and villages. A 30-kilometer exclusion zone is created to stop residents from returning to the contaminated area. Despite the disaster, the Chernobyl NPP continues to operate. The existence of a power station as well as the fact that the area is no longer inhabited, leads the Council of Ministers of the USSR to set up a network of secret laboratories in the exclusion zone. June 11, 2006. The exclusion zone lights up with a flash of blinding light as clouds can be seen evaporating in the sky. After a moment of complete silence, a peal of thunder shakes the ground. Most of the government forces guarding the perimeter are killed instantly. 2008. Scientists are still unable to explain what happened. Rare expeditions into the zone usually end in tragedy, with survivors telling stories of mutated animals with incredible abilities roaming the area. According to various estimates, by 2010, the zone is home to between one and 300 unknown individuals. They call themselves stalkers and make their living by collecting anomalous formations known as artifacts, which they sell for considerable sums of money. 2011, despite military cordons, the stalker phenomenon is growing in numbers. However, stalkers travel primarily around the zone's edges, with the center remaining terra incognita. The few attempts to penetrate deeper into the zone have all ended in failure. 2012, a stalker called Straylock solves the secret of the brain scorcher, a man-made emitter that had blocked the way to the center of the zone for years. After the brain scorcher is disabled, all stalkers rush for the center of the zone, some in hopes of finding a treasure trove of artifacts, others in search of the wish granter. The government decides to launch a large-scale military operation. Operation Fairway, as it came to be known, involves using maps of anomaly fields to maneuver helicopters to the CNPP. Despite meticulous preparation, the operation is a failure, and none of the helicopters return from the mission. Major Diktyrev, a USS special agent, is sent into the zone to investigate the disappearance of the helicopters. Disguised as a stalker, equipped with a regular assault rifle, two weeks' worth of supplies, and a radio to communicate with HQ, the Major begins his journey towards the center of the zone. All 
Alrighty then, we're in the game. Hopefully you all paid attention during that lovely opening scene. For those of you that missed it, we are the Major. We are undercover stalker. We have to investigate five downed helicopters. And you can already tell that this game is gorgeous. So one of the reasons why I play with the complete mod is because it makes it gorgeous. Not to say that the original game is not gorgeous, but uh, some artists took over, not they didn't take over, they basically created new textures for hundreds of items and created new skies. I mean, look how gorgeous that sky is. And they created also a lot of bug fixes, uh, AI fixes, just a lot of different things. And we'll talk about them as they go, uh, as we come across them. So this is it, folks. This is Stalker, Call of Pripyat. Super excited to be playing this game. Played the first two, loved it. And for those of you that are interested in the storyline, this actually takes place after the first game, Shadow of Chernobyl. So let's go ahead and talk to our fellow... Who are these dudes here? No, привет. Talk to him. Hi! Where's the nearest Stalker camp? Alright, cool. Uh, listen, I have a question for you. I'd like to ask you something. Do you know anything about the crash helicopters? Getting to the plateau, yes. Okay, yeah, I saw one myself. It didn't look like it crashed, but it wasn't flying good either. Uh, if you're good at stalking, that is, finding artifacts, talk to Beard. He's got a lot of respect here. He's the only man on Trata Scuff who will give you a good price for your artifacts. Okay, so there we go. That's basically how the talking works. And of course, this is a wide open game, and that's what makes this a lot like an RPG. So obviously it is a first person shooter, but it has RPG elements to it. So it's one of the reasons why I like it. I'll just show you kind of the way this is set up. This is set up differently from even Clear Sky. So I've got myself two guns, pistol and uh, looks like a, yeah, pistol and a gun here, and I've got all my food and my bandages and my anti-radiation. So these F buttons in the bottom left corner, those are new as well. So, you know, the company that made this uh, JSC Game Worlds, they went into receivership or bankruptcy or whatever, but uh, they made some uh, great games. So, we'll see what happens if Stalker 2 ever does get released, but I uh, probably should get my gun out. Not my grenade, my gun. I'll show you another neat thing here, which is uh, kind of what this whole game is about. This is like a my artifact detector, if you will. And uh, artifacts are like special radioactive elements that the stalkers are basically in here hunting for. And uh, they're worth a lot of money. Obviously different items or different artifacts are worth different amounts of money. And they're typically found in anomalies. And we'll see anomalies quite often. But, and I'll talk about those when we come across them. Let's just put away our gun here. So here we are on the ship. It's not on water. Well, that's because this used to be a bay, and now it's all like a swampland now. Oh, somebody's shooting. So you can see the gunfire off in... You can see the guys way off in the distance there. Let's get my detector off. So th th one of the beauties of this game... Oh yeah, I can't use my guns in this safe area. One of the beauties of the game is the AI on everyone is random. They'll actually live and go about their day, even though they're not interacting with you. They'll run off and fight monsters, they'll trade and all sorts of crazy stuff. So if you actually trade with someone and take away their guns, you're pretty much committing them to a death sentence unless they can find some replacements. Let's go ahead and check the ship out, meet some new friends. Hi there. Hello, I'm Nimble. Ah, I remember Nimble. Uh, can I place an order? No problem, what do you need? Go big or go home! <laughs> Exoskeleton. You must have given this choice a lot of thought. I can get my hands on a combat version, but it'll cost you 60000 Okay, I don't even have that kind of money. Alright, uh, how long until the motor's ready? Tell me about yourself. So 
I'm not going to read a lot of this. There, a lot of the conversations are text-based, so I'm not going to read them necessarily unless they're story-driven. Uh, I'll just sort of scan them briefly. Uh, this is a let's play. It's not meant to be uh, in-depth walkthrough or anything. It's meant to have fun. So that's what I'm going to be doing for the most part. Uh, oh, this is actually my personal box. Cool. So I can't even get a knife out. So normally you would bash these open and get some health supplies out of them. L is my light, so I'll go ahead and put my light on. Ooh, I can actually sleep too. Yeah, that's right. Oh! Oh, that's interesting. I don't have my sleeping bag. Hmm. Okay, who's this I'll dude? Be. Hi there, buddy. Got any work for me? Oh, sure. I need a few tools, but I have no time to go look for them. Alright, I'll keep an eye out for me. Bye-bye. So we're just getting some uh, some things to do before we head out to the wilderness. Hey, buddy. What are you? A statue? If you got something, Hi, spill owl. the beans. If not, take a hike. Tell me about the mercenary camp. Some kinds of mercenaries appeared at the processing station, and I'm dying to know what they're cooking up. Sneak into their camp and dig up whatever information you can about their plans. Okay, so now we got another mission. No more jobs. What do you know about the crash helicopters? Wow, it's gonna cost me 200? Uh, sure, we'll give him 200 bucks. Okay, that's enough for now. We're not gonna spend all the money, but we can trade. Whoa, he's got some good stuff. So it looks like they've changed the durability a little bit in the game. Uh, oh look, he's got a Vels. Oh no, it's a bear detector. So they've got different kinds of detectors with different skills. And also I've got a helmet too. Huh. So I'm assuming all this is super pricey. I've only got $2,300 or rubles. This thing, for example, costs 20000 So yeah, but anyways, this is how you would buy stuff. Yeah, ammo or what have you. So this is kind of neat. It actually shows you which ammo is for which gun. That's new. And I used to love using the 5.56s. Those are one of my favorite types of guns, or ammos for guns, or whatever you want to say. So, did you find anything out about Magpie? I What's up? Everywhere, but you wanted are suffering from Nobody radiation sickness. Thing. It's like he's a poltergeist or something. That son of a bitch is going to regret running away. Hang in there, buddy. The doc said you'll be up in your feet in a couple of days. You might as well use this time to rest up and chill. Hey, Stalker! Come here! I got a question for you! This guy's all jerkify. What has Magpie done to harm you? Oh, he comes up to me once and says he can't get his loot out because of a controller. Controllers are super scary monsters! The crew was a one-man short right then. Our Pathfinder, Daniela went off to track bloodsuckers. What happened next? What happened next was the bastard ran away, taking his loot and pocketing ours too. It was a hell of a surprise when the Chimerian finally showed up. Okay, he's talking with some serious dudes. Okay. Uh, well, we don't need to learn too much about this. Alright, dude. My main purpose here was just to get a few missions, so we'll be back here many times. I'm a medic, a trained brain surgeon. Uh, we're not badly hurt. Okay, so we, you did see me loot a few things. So we got a trader in here. Uh, let's bring up my PDA here. We can zoom in. M and zoom out. So we're in this main zone at the beginning that's called, I guess it's Zat Zatin. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but... And we're here. So there's a lot of different places for us to go. Looks like a lot of ships, basically. Okay, let's go. I keep using F for flashlight. It's actually L. All right, let's. Uh, anybody in here want to talk? We'll take an energy drink. Hey, stalker. How are food. you? Food. This uh, game is based on a weight system. Well, good luck to you. So you, you can't really run around with like Fallout type ammo supplies. So you managed <laughs> to drag your ass over here. Bravo! I'll talk to you, you seem kind of chipper. Remember, I'm Sultan. Everything that goes down here is either under my control or will be soon. 
The money-making kind. Now think, what am I asking you? You're the new guy with no connections to speak of, but if you play your cards right, you could quickly gain the locals' respect. Yeah, sure. The hit. I have to hit a guy. Alright, then listen up. We've got a mind to shake down a few of Baird's stalkers. It's a real cinch. Late at night, you and our guys come up with come up to Shevenko and four of these tourists figure out what's going down. You're taking for a ride. Uh, I don't really want to know about much of this. Okay. Say goodbye. So where are we got another mission? Who's this guy? Knuckles! Sultan says you're planning to fleece the stalkers. Count me in. I think I better stay with you and wait until midnight. Actually, I'm going to take care of a few things. Okay, so we'll come back to him. It's only like 9.50 in the morning, so I don't want to hang around with him for freaking 12 hours, so... Question for you. Uh, can I ask you something else? Alright, so let's just... Uh, we can also trade with uh, random dudes here. But we don't really need much right now. Alright, let's talk to this fellow Welcome right here. Welcome aboard our swamp. Uh, someone's planning to stick up a group of stalkers on our, our own guys, too. I don't know, is this me ratting the dude out already? Got a job for me? I got a little something. Last night's stalker saw some kind of weird glow at the dredge station. Alright, so we have another new mission. And I don't want to know any of that stuff. Someone's planning to stick up a group of stalkers, our own guys, too. Assholes, if you... It would actually be nice if you took up their offer, see what I'm getting at. That way I can tip my boys off so they prepare a warm welcome for our guests. So here I go, now I've got to make a decision. Crap. Sure, why not? <laughs> I've now backstabbed the dude that I just made a deal with. Eh, easy come, easy go. Uh, vodka is good for helping with radiation poison, unless they've changed that. He's got a pretty... Pretty gun on his back. Alright, uh, we'll take the food. Oh, this is Pilot, so he's a guide. He can lead us to different places once we've, uh, uncovered them. But, uh, how much does it cost me to get there? 3,000 rubles. So, no, 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 we're fine. Okay, so we need to get out of here. We're out. And they're growing wheat or something wild here. Alrighty then, so... That's a good enough amount of missions for now, and we'll come back around, I don't know, midnight-ish. And uh, we'll see what we can do. Oh shit, there's already somebody shooting. And I can't even get my gun out yet. There we go, there's my gun out. So really, what I'm afraid of is monsters and bandits, and certain military factions. I'll have to decide if I'm going to follow which military faction, either duty or freedom, at some point. But for now, I'm trying to stay neutral. Uh, let's see here. Wait for the right moment. Okay, so we're going to switch up our missions here. Uh, let's see. We need to uh, turn off side missions for a second. Wow, you can hear him still firing at us. Okay, get me zoomed out, please. Can we zoom out? There we go. We should probably... I don't know, let's uh, shut this off for a second. No, wait. We need to go here. Okay, so we gotta go down. We're gonna go down... And then we'll eventually go that way. And we're also gonna keep our, an eye out for... Um, stashes and hidden stuff. Okay, so we're gonna go this way. This is kind of it. This is me just wandering around. Uh, do I have binoculars? I don't know if I've got binoculars or not. There we go. Oh, I saw somebody here. So I could go in guns a blazing, or I can take. I wouldn't say it's a stealthy route, but more of a cautious route. Oh, there's dudes there. And usually, oh, see, that's a bandit, but he's yellow to us, so that's not too bad. Uh, okay. I don't really need my light on right now. This is quite the contraption here. 
What the hell is this thing? <laughs> okay, let's go see if there's any stuffs over here. Hey, dude. So they won't talk to you if you've got a weapon out, so you gotta... Put everything away. He won't talk to me. Oh, he will. If you need something, the boss is over there. Okay, so he's telling me to go look for the boss. I don't see... Oh, the boss is a star, apparently. Hey, buddy. Hi. Hey, stalker, what's your hurry? Question for you. Do you know anything about the crash helicopters? Alright. Ever meet a stalker named Magpie? Sure have. One look at him told me he was a complete sucker. Alright, so I've already got some intel now. And I don't want to really trade with him either. Okay, so we'll keep on going this way. Oh, so there's some monsters over there. Where's my binocular? Oh, I can't even... Oh, shit, look at that. See that those guys are fighting over there? This is what I mean by the AI. The AI in this game is crazy. Uh, I'm gonna go see if I can loot their bodies. <laughs> that's legit. Don't tell me that's not legit. If you ever play this game, I'm sure you looted their dead bodies. So this is a highly uh, realist uh, sort of shooter, if you will. So if you're running... Oh look, the dude's carrying the freaking body. That is insane! He's carrying the body. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Holy sh... You can see... Uh now he's coming for me. God, what's that noise? Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and loot this guy. Just take off for now. That doesn't sound good at all. Attention, oh shit! An is approaching. I repeat, an is okay, we're running. Okay, so our missions are bad. <laughs> we're gonna go hide in here. Hopefully this is good enough. Shit, I don't know if it's gonna be good enough. We need somewhere safe where we won't be... Door's locked? Are you kidding me? Crap, crap, crap. Uh, let's go hide in here. I need a place that doesn't have a lot of places to... windows and stuff. So basically, an mission is... Uh, well, it, it's an omission, and if you're out in the open, you will die. At this point of the game, anyways. And you can see the sky looks pretty. But, uh, it's deadly. And it'll come like a wave through, across the land. Uh, Attention, stalkers! An emission will start I don't even know if I'm now. safe in Find here. If you want to live. But basically, yeah, if we're out in the open, it's a problem. <laughs> Also, because I'm using the complete mod pack, I uh, have it set so that any bodies that are out in the emission, they should turn to zombies. That was an option when I was installing the complete mod. So I thought, ah, sure, who needs I want to have more zombies. So there you go, folks. We are looking at an emission <laughs> craziness. Crap. I don't even want to get close to it, because I know we'll die if we get close to the door there, so to speak, but... Oh shit, I just... Look at my health! It's dropping! Oh god, oh god, look at... It's coming in here, isn't it? I took a health kit. How long does it last? I don't even know if crouching makes a difference? You can hear people still shooting. Oh boy, is it over? Oh, look at my health going down still. I'm gonna take another health kit. I would have thought this would have been safe, but this must be the radiation kicking my ass. <sighs> oh my god, it's a freaking light show out there. Holy shit. Are we gonna live? I'm gonna save it quickly. <laughs> I don't even know if that's gonna matter. Uh, oh my god, and we're dead. I f didn't find cover. Alright, well, I don't know how we'll have to figure out what happens next, but uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.